21, the character that will make me play Dragon Ball again? Who knows? Who knows? But this character looks fucking esports. Like, I don't know what to say. If you don't know what I mean by esports, I mean, she looks really, really good. They want your money really bad. She animates incredibly. Like, she just looks cool. They went through all her tools. I'm going to just mention stuff that I think are really notable. Normals, her normals overall look good. So she's, uh, in a previous version, you know, she would be, like, fuzzyable, you know? Uh, but her normals look really good. So starting with 5L, it's really, really huge. They mentioned that uh, you can do, like, Super Dash Assist Call and land 5L or reach. You can 50-50 from Super Dash, which is great. The thing is, though, is since it's, like, the Android 18-style, like, kick, that means that she'll have um, issues in certain situations, like post-vanish and stuff, where you can, like, crush her 5L. Like, she's not good at mashing out of pressure right but her normals are really good her auto combo looked great she has the gt goku uh who else has this uh, uh zamasu has this janemba has this uh well no not janemba uh majin Buu has this the um auto combo into grab mix if you feel like using low block stun assists her 2m so her 2m looked good so if one it's fast it's minus sorry it's a frame startup but uh the range on the first hit is not that good but it's a multi-hitting one so it makes it so that she's really good against guard cancel with that normal so her pressure is going to be really good there her frame data all around seems to be really good a lot of things are minus four which means it's hard to like deal with her range and her peeling off if she feels like peeling off she has a lot of multi-hitting stuff she has a lot of things with a long range for example her slide hits from downtown she has a 5M that looks like it could anti-air. It hits like really high and it's really easy to convert as well. And speaking of anti-air, she has a bunch of good ones. So between her 5M, which looks pretty good, the second hit of her 5L also looks good. Uh, she has 214. Her 214 series in general look good. And there's also her JM, which she looks like a character that's like Gotenks that like they will always bring you down to the ground. So some characters like Base Vegeta had this problem and it was really annoying. Some characters are just not that great at bringing characters from the down from the air to the ground if you catch them blocking the air. But she looks really good at it. She, it looks really, 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 really easy to do. Uh, Key Blast one is pretty standard. Uh, five hits, hits full screen. But then also uh, she has a good air key blast. I didn't really touch on it that much, but she has a good air key blast as well. So her neutral is, with normals is all around pretty good. Okay, we go into a couple other normals we got to talk about, right? So she has a command normal 6H, which is 27 frames, but it hits two H's. So it's good against Dragon Rush, like how people defend Dragon Rush. Something I used to talk about a lot where like it's airborne. So it goes over to L and it hits two H. Uh, it's not fast, but it's cancelable uh, into other normals. So it's pretty safe. But also she has her JH, which is huge and is good as a cross up and her JL, which seems to work like a team gohan id cross up into special moves so her selection in dragon run situations looks very 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 good then let's talk about her command grab a little bit so she's got 24 frame command grab pretty standard she has it in the air as well so she heals yellow life 500 uh hp of yellow life when she does it so if she has blue life she'll heal that but if not she'll heal yellow life which is pretty good and the air one, so unlike her, uh, unless they change this in this season, stream, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Android 21 had um, the old version. She has the air, air command gram, but it had landing recovery. So uh, for a long time, people were trying to do left rights with it, or you had to use like high uh, blocks on assist and things like that. But this one has no land re recovery, so you can use it for high lows in a pretty direct way. Uh, she's got the Android 18 barrier but with different options for supers after but it's nice that she has a barrier she can use it with different assists to protect herself in scrambles she has a lariat right it's two three six it goes through key blast hits behind good frame data at minus five uh as usual like most lariats the l1 is fast but goes like a certain distance the m1 is slower goes further the ex1 is fast and it goes really far the two and four is the lk move that's my shit it's the anti-air is the anti-air the ex1 is frame one invul you get it in the air the conversion ability is out of control if you have a bar because you get to, you get to do ex um 214 in the air and to land ex stomp into oh shit right and that's like 50 percent. that shit is sick i fucking love that they're doing it right now oh, he's doing sparking though oh shit i mean still <laughs> still uh, and goodbye to entry 21 by the way during this and speaking of the stomp 
it's a low, hits OTG, and enables really, really unique conversions. Uh, they showed off Broly doing command grab, and then tag in Android 21 lab coat, and then stomp, and then combo. So she'll have good flexible uh, synergy because of that type of thing. Her 236 super uh, it's a pretty standard one, so the ground one you can get uh, extensions after it, but uh, I have the assumption that it's going to scale a lot, so it's whatever. The main thing is actually that something that happened in tournament, in that it will make for safe tags using meter, which looks pretty interesting. I saw a couple of people do it. I saw Wawa specifically doing it with uh, the Air 236 and then DHC in neutral with Blue Gogeta. She can also teleport behind them, just like a little note, right? Now, the main one that people have been talking about basically all day has been the Command Grab Super. The Command Grab Super gives the opponent a 21% damage nerf forever. It's just forever. And it gives 21 a 21% 21 damage buff to her special moves. And it's 21 frame startup. So it's pretty fast. And there's no super flash when it whiffs. So it's pretty fast, pretty scary move. Uh, that makes it so that people will have to three or four touch you, or if you're not uh, optimal, then you're probably doing like five or six touches, which sucks. Like it just gonna, in a game where you can like heal all the time and like reflect tag and you have spark and all these things to worry about, uh, that fucking sucks. It's really, 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 really threatening. It's probably like the overall scariest thing about her. I feel like. Uh, outside of all her other amazing stuff, because she seems to be just such a good all-around type. Speaking of which, we will wrap up with her barrier. So she's got the barrier assist on B. It's just like 18s. Defensive assist, you know I like that. Um, the A one is a lariat that beats Key Blast. That's 20 frames and has 40 frame block stun as long as all the hits hit. I'm sorry, Yamcha. They be smoking you. I don't know what to say. They still be smoking you. And the C one is her beam. So she looks really good. Like, I don't really know what to say. She looks really, really good as a character. Um, she basically has everything you'd want. She has good anti-air. She's good at both bringing you down with normals and using anti-air. If she hits you with the anti-air, she does a lot of damage. She has good uh, offense because you have to be worried about dragon rush and command grab and super command grab and instant cross up and jump heavy cross up all at the same time. Really good frame data, really good range. Her only obvious weakness is that she doesn't have a like a DP, like, she, and then she's not good at mashing because of her 5L. That's basically it. She looks like a neutral and pressure monster, and just so scary with the conditioning. Uh, she looks and she animates amazing. Like, I kind of wish they came out with this character when the game came out so I could fucking play her. But she looks uh, really, really, really ridiculous. In his version this is a really good way of wrapping up the game i think her oki i guess doesn't look great like her level threes uh, i only took a little bit of notes on her level threes because they didn't look that good at a glance maybe people can develop stuff uh but her solo functionality is pretty good like she has a full screen key blast beam air key blast and ways of hitting you alone so she has most of the important stuff of playing a solo character like comeback and she has good support, and she herself is good and scary, so she looks really good to me. I don't know. We'll see.